I'm leaving on a 12 month trip around the world in March. I'm going to travel with nothing but carry on luggage. This video will show you what I plan on bringing with me. Greetings from New York, YouTube. My name is Kevin. I make these weekly videos documenting my journey towards full-time travel. If that kind of content interests you, please subscribe below to follow my journey. So I've never liked checking bags while I'm traveling. And when I decided to embark on this 12 month travel journey that hopefully leads to full-time travel, I vowed to figure out a way to travel with only carry-on luggage. So let's dive right in and see what's in my bag. So I'm actually traveling with two bags. This Osprey Porter 30 liter, it's about the size of a normal backpack. And I also plan to travel with this camera bag. I like over the shoulder satchels, so this was perfect for me. Although now that I have my packing list down to about everything I'm gonna bring with me, I think I can actually downsize this bag. So if you have any ideas, please comment below and send me a link to the Amazon product you recommend. So let's first start off with what I'm wearing. I think people underestimate how much stuff you can actually pack on yourself. So let me tell you what I'm wearing right now. I'm wearing this merino wool shirt. It's my only dress shirt. I plan on traveling in this shirt wherever I go. The good thing about this shirt is it's made of merino wool and so it's very breathable and I should be okay in hot climates. I've actually got another shirt on under this shirt. It's another merino wool shirt, it's a V-neck. And I know what you're thinking, that might be too hot in some areas, but I can always take this shirt off and tie it around my waist and I'll be fine. And then if I get on the plane and the plane's cold, I can put this shirt back on. I'm also wearing jeans. A lot of people say don't travel with jeans, but I'm a jeans person. So I'm bringing one pair of jeans and I plan on wearing them whenever I travel. I also have on a pair of merino wool socks and a pair of Nike running shoes that are completely black. It was really important that I find a shoe that was multifunctional. I like to run a lot, so I wanted it to be a good running shoe. I wanted it to be a shoe I could hike in, but I also wanted it to be a shoe that would pass in a more dressy formal situation. And I think these Nikes I found fit that belt. I also have a pair of merino wool underwear on as well. So right there, that's six out of the clothing that I'm already gonna be able to carry onto the plane. Okay, let's get into my bag, because this is where most of the stuff is. So this bag has a couple different compartments, and I'll be honest with you, I've only really filled the main compartment. There's actually a lot more space in this bag, which is why I mentioned um, thinking about downsizing my carry-on camera bag. So all I have right now in this first pouch is my passport. That's what's in this front pouch at the moment. Okay, so the main bag. I have some things in here that some people might think are ridiculous but they're things that are important to me and I've been able to make it work in this bag. So the first thing I have is a travel scale. I know you may not be able to tell by looking at me, but I actually gain weight really easily. So I constantly have to monitor it. So this travel scale was the perfect solution for me. I don't have to try to find a scale wherever I'm at. I always have one with me. And it comes with this really cool little pouch here that protects it. So next I have a lot of camera gear. I plan on making a lot of videos and taking a lot of pictures. So it was important to me to be able to bring plenty of gear and I've made it work. So I have a GoPro tripod here that folds up into this small, easily packable item. I also am bringing a universal plug with me and hopefully it'll work in the 12 countries I plan on visiting. This right here is an ND filter for my Sigma 16 millimeter lens that goes with the A6500 camera that I'm actually filming with now. As my British friends would say, this bag has all kinds of bits and bobs in it. It has extra camera batteries for my A6500, for my drone, for my GoPro, for every piece of camera equipment I have. This is where I stuff almost all the accessories I have for my electronic equipment. So next is my DJI Mavic Air drone. I got this drone because it's really small and easy to pack. Next are my toiletries. I'm actually probably gonna cut these down and just buy toiletries when I arrive in a country. But this kind of shows you that I'm able to fit this stuff in my bag if I want to. This bag has my beard trimmer in it. So if you don't have a beard, you won't need to pack something like this. Next is another piece of electronic gear. It is my tripod for my A6500. I also have another smaller Manfrotto tripod that my A6500 is sitting on now that will also go in this bag. 
Before I get into the clothes I'm bringing, I'll show you the second pair of shoes I'm bringing. I don't pack them in the main bag. I pack them where the shoulder straps of the bag can be stored. That's a little space saver trick I'm using. So these are just a pair of Quicksilver sandals that I'm sure I'll get a lot of use out of in South America and Southeast Asia. Okay, so now all that's left in my bag are the clothes I plan on bringing. And I fit all the clothes I'm bringing other than the stuff I'm wearing into two Eagle Creek compression bags. So this bag is now completely empty. So this doesn't look like a lot of clothes, but you're gonna be surprised how much is in here, I think. So let's start with the first one. This bag has four shirts and two pair of underwear in it. The first shirt is an Outlier Merino Wool t-shirt. In my other videos, I talk about Merino Wool a lot, and it's one of the main reasons I've been able to keep my luggage down to carry on only. So if you're interested in learning more about Merino Wool, I'll put a link to a Merino Wool playlist I have. We actually review all these shirts. The next one is another merino wool shirt. Actually, these are all gonna be merino wool shirts, so I'll quit saying that. This is a Henley by Wooly. The next two shirts are by Unbound Merino. This black one. and this gray one. I roll almost all my clothing and that's how I fit it in just two compression bags. And lastly, I have one pair of Merino wool underwear by Unbound Merino and one pair of synthetic underwear by Ex Officio. And I also have the Merino wool underwear that I'm wearing right now. All that fit in this little bitty compression sack. So this is a big one. This one has a lot of stuff in it. I think you're gonna be pretty surprised on how many things I have in this bag. And if you're traveling to only hot climates, you'll actually be able to fit more into this bag. Because believe it or not, I have two coats in this bag. The first coat I have is one of those puppy travel coats. I actually got this on Amazon. I think it was like $40. I'll try to find it and put a link below. The whole jacket folds up into its own pocket, so that makes it really convenient to pack. And it's a puppy jacket, so it compresses down really easily. The next item I have is another coat. So this is a rain jacket. It's made by Columbia. It's easy to roll up, and it's important to me to have something to wear when it's raining. The next thing in this bag is a microfiber towel. This is a normal size towel, so you can use this at the beach. If you're staying at an Airbnb or a hostel and they don't have towels, you can use this as your towel. I hand wash all my merino wool. After I wash my merino wool, I can wring it out in this towel and this towel will pull out most of the moisture and then whatever I wash dries much quicker. The next item, I actually roll two pair of shorts into one. These are my workout shorts from a company called Oliver. These are some Quicksilver shorts that I can also wear as swim trunks. These are just some regular shorts by Untuck It. And these are my second pair of pants by Bluffworks. I also have four pair of socks in this bag as well. So I have two pair of long socks, one that I'm wearing and this one, and three pair of ankle socks. Okay, so that's everything in my 30 liter backpack. And lastly, I'm bringing a camera bag. This bag is gonna serve as a multi-purpose bag for me. It's going to be where I put my valuable camera gear when I travel, as well as my MacBook Pro. But it's also gonna be the bag I carry with me when I'm just going out for a day on the town. So like I mentioned, I'm gonna be carrying my laptop in this bag. So I have my MacBook Pro in this in-case cover just to make sure it's protected. I should probably not toss this. 
And right now I'm filming with my A6500, but normally my A6500 would be in this bag along with the mic that's attached to it. So right now, all I have in this bag are my GoPro and a Sigma 16 millimeter lens that I'll use at night. My A6500 has a 16 millimeter to 70 millimeter lens attached to it that'll also be in this bag. I have nothing in the front compartment of this bag. And this is the way this bag protects my camera equipment with this little insert that's cushioned. So as you can see, I'm bringing a lot of stuff with me. I'm bringing two pair of pants, three pair of shorts, six shirts, two pair of shoes, three pair of underwear, five pair of socks, a laptop, a drone, a camera, two lenses, three tripods, a GoPro, and a bunch of bits and bobs that make all that stuff work. And I still have space left. I don't think I'm really traveling like a minimalist because I could definitely travel with less shirts one pair of pants and one pair of shorts and be able to survive. And I still have plenty of room in my bag to pack other things if I need to. If you enjoyed this video, please like below and please subscribe if you'd like to follow my travel adventures. Thanks for watching.